Well, hello my loves, how are you all today? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Silvina and in today's video we're going to talk a little about fashion and color psychology and the way that that influences how we perceive and how we are perceived by others. I'm sorry if you throughout this video hear like a lot of wind and sound and rain, it's because we're going through like a storm right now and it's really windy outside so yeah that's it sorry so before we start i want to clarify that i'm not a psychologist by any means uh, i just like to do a lot of research so please take what i say with that in mind okay so to begin with we all know that fashion is a form of self-expression what we wear and how we wear it is a reflection of not only how we are our individuality but also how we feel and sometimes even what we think our clothes are the introduction to the self and the thing is that our clothes not only reflect, but they also affect how we feel, how we perceive ourselves and others, and how we perform throughout our day. There truly isn't bad or good fashion or bad or good style, it's more if you dress in alignment with yourself and ultimately lead to be a better version of yourself, or if you dress out of alignment. But fashion does have some social rules that vary from culture to culture that are based on tradition and social constructs and they can influence how other people perceive us. For example, if you go to a formal wedding wearing jeans and a t-shirt, you will be regarded as disrespectful even if no one says it to your face. Clothes and body values and dress codes are those spoken and sometimes unspoken fashion rules that determine if something is appropriate or not appropriate to wear to an event or an activity. When we're using the wrong type of clothes for the context and for ourselves, we feel uncomfortable and awkward, not only in practical terms like wearing high heels to go on a hike, but also in terms of self-confidence and synergy with the rest of the people around us. On the other hand, when we're wearing the right type of clothing, we feel empowered, confident, and like we belong. There's a certain consensus that people want to be different, they want to be unique, but not necessarily too unique. We all try to express our own individuality while at the same time conforming to a specific general norm. And like I said, we all have our own style, so let's look at what different styles may be reflecting. Please bear in mind that this may not be exactly accurate, like in terms of what you reflect and your real personality but like I always say appearance is the first impression that a person has about us they don't know us as a person initially so our style and our appearance is everything they know about us at the point we often hear the phrase um, don't judge a book by its cover and it's so true the cover doesn't reflect everything that the content has to give but it does sure say a lot. And that's what fashion does for people, and each style reflects different things. For example, a trendy style may say that you're a fun and youthful and outgoing person. A classic and minimal style may say that you're more down to earth and you like comfort and you don't like to be the center of attention. A sophisticated style may reflect that you're of a high class, even though you in reality may not be, and that you're refined and elegant. A flamboyant style may say that you're confident and out of the ordinary and unique. A hippie or boho style may reflect that you're an artistic, free-spirited and peaceful person. A rocker or punk style may say that you're mysterious and edgy. A sporty style reflects that you're an active and motivated person. And a business style reflects professionalism, responsibility and intelligence. Textures and fabrics also have the power to reflect different things. For example, lace is associated with sexiness and elegance. Leather with strength and edginess. Silk with luxury and refinement. Wool with coziness and warmth. Cotton with comfort and versatility. Linen with freshness and breathability. And denim with casualness and durability. So now let's move on to a key element in fashion that is able to reflect different things from our personality and our mood, and that is color. Color in fashion is meant not only to express ourselves, but also to make us look our best. That's why there are a lot of professionals in colorimetry that study your features and tell you which range of colors is best suited for you so that you look more harmonious. Colors also has context and religious attributions, meaning different things in different religions and cultures. For example, at a funeral in the Western world, black is a color that is expected to be worn by all attendees, but in other cultures, they do not wear black, they wear white because it represents rebirth and purity. And at a wedding in the West, 
why does a color that social norms only allowed a bride to wear? But on the other hand, for example, in some Asian cultures, brides do not wear white, they wear red because it represents happiness, prosperity, and good luck. Okay, so let's dissect what each color usually represents. This of course is in general terms because certainly we all have different symbolic associations with colors depending on our experiences and our upbringing, so the same color may evoke different reactions for different people. So black represents mystery, elegance, sophistication, and power. On the negative side, it's commonly associated with death, mourning, fear, and rebellion. So white represents purity, cleanliness, health, peace, and simplicity. But like I said, in some cultures, it represents death and mourning. Blue represents tranquility, professionalism, knowledge, responsibility, and freshness. And on the negative side, it could represent sadness. Yellow represents confidence, positive energy, happiness, and hope. But on the negative side, it could represent deceit. Red represents passion, intensity, love, and importance. But on the negative side, it could represent anger and danger. But like we said, in some cultures, red represents prosperity, happiness, and good luck. So orange represents creativity, vibrancy, change, and vitality. Pink represents softness, romance, and femininity. Green represents nature, growth, abundance, health, and hope too. But on the negative side, it could represent envy and jealousy, you know, the expression green with envy. Purple represents transformation, spirituality, wisdom, luxury, and wealth. Grey represents conservatism, formality, and modesty, but it could also be seen like a depressive and old color. And lastly, brown represents strength, comfort, reliability, and coziness. It's also the color of the earth, so it's seen as a grounding color, but on the negative side, it could be seen like a little dull. But going even beyond fashion, color influences everything in our lives. From the spaces we spend time in, the logos of the brands that we consume, the color of the objects we use, the color of the flag of our country or our favorite sports team, to the symbols that we see every day on the street, they all have some sort of effect on us that affects our mood, our behavior, and the overall state of our body, mind, and soul. But all of this being said, sometimes it happens that our wardrobe doesn't reflect us and our personality. There's a mismatch between what we want to portray and what we're actually portraying. This could be for many reasons, lack of knowledge, lack of resources, lack of money, lack of time, and so on. But let me tell you that this can all be fixed. You just need to find your personal style. Um, it's not a one-day thing, it's a process, but it's totally doable. Luckily, I have a specific video on how to find your personal style style so if you're interested I will leave it up here or in the description box so you can go check it out. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, please comment down below what are your thoughts on today's topic. Lastly, don't forget to like this video if you really liked it, subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on for more fashion and lifestyle content, and I will leave the links in the description box as always of all of my social media so you can go check them out. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Ciao, ciao!